Hey guys, it's your girl Bray. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a new subscriber, then welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, then make sure you go hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to be notified every time I upload a video. By the title of today's video, I will be doing what's on my iPhone 8s. Now, a lot of y'all like these videos, like, like y'all like these videos, like, Y'all be wanting to know the apps that people got on their phone. Y'all even be like, want to be nosy in people's phones. I know how it is because I like these videos too. Because I be needing them type of apps. I be finding my finding out about apps that I never knew about. I be like, dang. It had an app for that the whole time. I didn't know. Like, seriously, these like one of my favorite type of videos that I like watching on YouTube. Like, I like watching what's on my iPhone videos a lot. Because like, I be getting them good apps. Like, I really be getting good apps. Like, half the apps that's on my phone, I get it from watching those videos. So, I'm going to show y'all my, I'm going to see if I can show y'all my lock screen if it don't cut off. This is my lock screen. It's a picture of me. Oh, it cut off. Well, anyways, if you haven't already seen, this is my lock screen right here. See, that's my last screen right here. It's a picture of me. Let's see. And this is my home screen. Me and my boyfriend. So, as y'all can see, I color codes my apps in folders. Like the orange, the green, the blue, the pink, and the purple. Some of my apps not color coded in there, but... That's because I haven't got time to get to them or either think about because there's so many apps in these photos like you think you just see like one but you see like four like sides of the apps in my phone so like that'd be too much I literally got so much apps in my phone so if y'all be really need these apps make sure you stay tuned and watch this whole video because I have all the apps but I'm gonna start in the orange and yellow folder which is it, I have tips which come with the phone, which basically just show the new updates when you update your phone and what that do and this and that. The basic stuff that come with the phone. Next, I have Eternal Sunshine. Eternal Sunshine is an app that's like motivation. Like it's a motivation app that sends you daily notifications about like motivating yourself and. It's a good app. I love that app because it's like it really motivates me too. Like I love motivation apps. Next app is SoundCloud. SoundCloud, I don't really use well, I do use like that. I use when I'm listening to these lit songs that you like. These like the lit mixes of songs that you can't find on YouTube or any other thing. That's why I'll be using SoundCloud for it. Next app is Wattpad. If y'all know what Wattpad is, it's basically a reading app that, like, you can read books on that. It's the best reading app ever. Like, if you don't like reading a regular book, I advise you to get Wattpad to read it on your phone because that's the best app ever. So, I be reading them thug books and stuff. Like, I love them books and them urban books and all that. Them books are good on here. I recommend you get this app. Next thing is books, which come with the phone, which self-explanatory, which I don't know what that is. Next one is notes, where I put all my notes at. Like, I store everything and I put everything in there. Like, I got all my YouTube ideas and stuff in there. Next thing is Snapchat. Now, y'all can go add me on Snapchat at... Yassi Bradley 426. Yes, it's Yassi Bradley because I want to change my name to Yasmin one time. So it became Yassi Bradley. But you know, Snapchat don't even let you change your little username or anything. You gotta stick with it forever unless you make a new account. And that's too much. But y'all can go at me on Snapchat. Even though I don't be on it like that, but I be on it. Take pictures. I'm gonna try to be on it more. Next app I got in this folder is Pocket Video. Now, Pocket Video is a, like an editing app. I use that app like one or two times, but I used it for like the iPhone effect that's on my intro, like the iPhone screen effect on my intro. 
that's what I use the app for. I mean, I recommend you get that app, but it's iMovie and all the other apps are like kind of better, but that's what I use the app for. And that's all in that folder. Next folder is the green folder. I have one bus away, which is a bus thing that lets you know real time where the buses are at and this and that. I got Spotify, which is it's a music app. It's a good music app. I advise you to get that since if you don't want Apple Music, then I advise you for your second choice to get Spotify. It's a good music app. Even though despite the ads, what if you pay for it? Like it's a good music app. Next one is Cash App. If y'all wanna see me some money, some money. If y'all wanna see me some money, here's my cash app. Be kind. You know, give the girl some tips, whatever. Next app is Bite Squad. Now y'all probably like what the heck is Bite Squad? Some of y'all might know what Bite Squad is, but Bite Squad is a food delivery app, just like Uber Eats, but I prefer Uber Eats over Bite Squad, but yeah, Bike Squad is a like an app, but it got different, more recommended stuff on there than Uber Eats because I don't think Uber Eats got Chip Fil A, but Bike Squad got Chip Fil A and Charlie's and stuff in the mall and stuff. So I thought y'all could get that out because that's a good app. Next app is Uber Eats, which y'all should already know that is food delivery app, which everybody should have that app because that's a good. Next thing is find my iPhone or find my friends. They well, they included find my friends into find my iPhone, so that's basically what it is. It's tracking your people, or either you tracking your phones that's connected to your Google Apple ID. That's basically what it is. Next app is Ace Elite, which is just a bank thing that like I usually bank them with like a place for money. Let me just say that. It's my money and my business. Okay. Next app is HCPLC, which is the library, which you could go on this app and put books on hold and then by the time you go get to your local library, it'll be there for you to pick the books up and everything else. That's basically what that app is. That's all in that folder. Next folder is the blue folder. I got weather, which is self explanatory. Apple Store, which is what well, Apple Store, which is self explanatory. Got mail, which I got all my Gmail. That's why it's so much. Eight thousand one hundred seventy three. Cause I don't check my Gmail. I mean, I check it, but I don't check it frankly. Like I'm not gonna say and go through all that. That's too much. Next app is Wish. If you don't know what Wish is, I advise you to get it right now. Cause Wish is like a, it's an app where you could get cheap stuff from like cheap eyelashes or cheap like phone cases this is where i get my phone cases from you will get a lot of stuff for cheap like anything that you need like you'll find in a regular store you get it for cheap on wish for like a dollar or 50 cent or 75 cent it's a very good app i recommend how to get that out next is files which is self-explanatory next is facebook i have that for family i use that for my family and stuff to connect with my family I don't use that for anything else but family. Next is Twitter. Twitter, 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 Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Y'all can follow. Y'all can like go follow me on Twitter at BrayBarbie underscore. I be on it. I be retweeting a lot. I don't be making a tweet that much. But I be retweeting more than I be making tweets. And I recommend y'all go, go follow me on Twitter. I retweet a lot of stuff, see? See those snow crabs? I mean, I know king crabs. That looks so good. Like, I love seafood. I don't even think y'all understand yet how much I love seafood. But it looks so good. Anyways, next is Messenger, which is connected with Facebook, which I use to text people from Facebook. Next is SB, which is, if you don't know what that is, that's basically your grades, where your grades are at from your school, which is something your school uses, which connects you to your grades and stuff, and message your teachers about your grades. That's basically what it is. Next is Walmart, which is self-explanatory, literally buying stuff 
Walmart is that. Next is Indeed Jobs. If you don't know what Indeed Jobs and you looking for a job, I advise you to get this out right now. Like, you can get a job in less than, less than four weeks, less than a month. You get a job so quick, like, so quick. If you need a job, I advise you to get this out right now, like, literally right now. Next, I got Amazon, which is self-explanatory. You buy stuff from out there, which I use. Brought phone case. Last thing I brought was phone case. Next app is Video Star, which I don't use no more, but it's, very, it's basically an editing app that you use. That basically, when you see them edits on Instagram, how them people make the little block go around of the little edits and stuff and your picture and all that. That's basically what they be getting off of. That's basically what they be doing off of Video Star. But I don't use it because you have to pay for them effects, though. And I'm, I'm just going to use it. Next app is Waze. If you don't know Waze, it's, it's basically basically a traffic app. Like, when you drive in, it'll alert you, oh, it's a police ahead. Make a turn if you want to make a turn. Or it's traffic ahead. Make sure you go make a turn and this and that. If you don't want to be stuck in the traffic, it's a good app. It lets you know. If it's an accident or coming up and this and that, you can go to turn so you don't have to be involved in all the traffic. That's basically what it is. Next app is Remind, which I, is for school, which is reminders from teachers and stuff. Next is the weather, self-explanatory, basically the weather. Next, repost, which is Instagram repost, reposting pictures and videos from Instagram. Next is Quizlet. If you need to study for a test or you need to like take a test or you need to get a good grade on the test, I advise you to get Quizlet to help you study because you're going to ace that test with Quizlet. Like, it literally. I've been getting A's on my test with Quizlet. Next up is Photoshop Express. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's what it's called. Which is uh, editing out where you can... I use it for cool effects on my photos. Like if I want the sun, if I'm outside, I took a picture. I want the sunlight beaming on me, but it ain't that much sunlight. It like puts sunlight on you. So like, that's what I use that for. Like, but I don't haven't used it in so long. Next app is DMV Genie, which is helping you study for your driver's test. That's what the app is. Next is Sketch AR. I got this app, but I haven't used it. I haven't used it. It's basically a drawing out where you put like you take a picture of or your your paper and it helps you draw out like help you draw out a cat stuff by stuff by stuff. That's basically what the app is. Next is time planner, which is I had no idea. I haven't used it. It's, it's basically planning out events or planning out anything if you need. That's what it basically is. Next is PayPal. If you want to go send me money, hopefully it don't show my thing. If you want to go send me money, use my PayPal. Okay, I don't got all that. Do all that. I better go through all that. Next is Box. I just got this app a few weeks ago. And I think it's basically an app where you can, like, get snacks delivered to you. And, like, that's, that's why I think it is, like, a like a grocery app where you get stuff delivered to you and pay for it. That's basically what it is. Next app is Arrive. Arrive is tracking your orders or what you order online. You put in the tracking code and it'll track it for you and tell you where it is. That's basically what Arrive is. Next is Voodoo, which is the, I think that's the movie app. I just got it a few days ago. I don't know. I don't use it like that either, but that's basically what it is. I can't explain to you what it is because I really don't know what it is like that. Next app is Being Me. It's a motivation app. If you like being motivated, I advise you to get this app. This it is. It says you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Which is true. It's true. Which I love this app. It motivates you. I really love motivation apps because I be needing it. So wake up in the morning, be motivated, and feel good. Next is Tap Tap Dash. 
kind of suck at this game. Seriously, it's a game that I suck at. Already, but basically that is a game. It's kind of addictive. Like, I advise if y'all bored in school and sit in the class, I don't have to get it out. Cause like, seriously. Next folder is the pink and purple folder. Next, I got Instagram. Y'all can go follow me on Instagram. Brave Barbie dot underscore. Be posting on my main page. This is my main page. But if you want to go follow me on my. If you want to go follow me on my backup page. Right here. I can go follow me. My backup page. Bray Barbie underscore part two. And these are other pages. Right sitting right here that you go follow me. Which is my shared spam with my cousin. Go follow my boyfriend. And you can go follow me on my boyfriend couples page. Yeah. Next is iTunes Store. I don't use Come With The Phone. Podcasts, I don't use the Come With The Phone. Petty Wednesday is a motivation app. I guess it's, well, I ain't gonna say I guess because I know what it is. It's an app that basically just like other apps, it sends you motivational stuff. It helps you motivate it. I use this app and I you can get that because it's a good app. Next is Eve. If you're a girl, go ahead and get that app because like it helps you track your cycle. You know what I'm talking about. It helps you track your stuff. Next, eraser. Now, eraser is basically editing. Like, if I ain't want the background of me, I like. You could just just erase the background of the black in the back of me. That's why it is and keep your whole body, but just erase the background. This is a cool app if you're doing thumbnails. Erase the background and then like I bet you get that because like that's a good app, especially if you're an upcoming YouTuber like me. Get that app. It helps you with a lot of stuff. Next app is Pick Lay, which is a Photo editing app where you like have a photo right here and you have a photo right here and then you blend it in. That's basically what happens. You blend it two photos together or overlaying two photos together or either doing a collage or something. That's basically what the app is. Next is iMovie. If you're a YouTuber, don't tell me you don't got this app because you gotta have this app. iMovie is a app where you edit YouTube videos or edit any type of video. Put the little effects in it. I highly recommend you get this out if you're a YouTuber. Next is Life 360. It's something you use to track, to track your people and look at their phone percentage. If their phone dies, you like charge your phone. It's not. It's what my mom be doing. She be like, my phone dying. She be like, charge your phone. Your phone dying and this and that. Like she's my percentage. Like I use it for my family. Next is InShot, which is an editing app, which is you can, I use the app to help me resize my photos to be able to post them on Instagram, you know how Instagram be like cutting half of your body out, isn't that because it has to be too wide or large, so like you resize your photo in a square and stuff and post them, all of your photo on Instagram instead of half of it being blocked off. Next is Lam next is Lamotive, which is a video out which you put photos together and make a whole video. Next is Socratic, which is something I use to sometimes do math homework. I take a picture of it and a search up, or either I use it for to look up a question. I just take a picture of the question and search up the question because I'm lazy and I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm not for saying type up a whole question, a whole long paragraph. No, I'm not going to go do that. Like, no. Next is Panda Pop. I'm addicted to this app. If my boyfriend knows I'm addicted to this app. Like, I be saying Panda Pop, Panda, Panda. Like, I love this app. Like, if you be bored in school, I recommend you get this app. Because this app is a good app. I'm not going to spend that much time. 
I don't plan this either. You can see that app is you just shooting the balls up like that. It's a good app going to different levels. I make me get this app if you bore it. That's what that app is. Next is classic, which is like an app where you like connect the three row colors and stuff. You bored. If you bored like me in school. That's a good app to get. Excuse me. That's a good app to get. Next app is PixArt, which is the editing app which I use to make my thumbnails. I recommend y'all get the app if you use to bring like make thumb if you make thumbnails. Get that app and make your thumbnails because like it's a good app. And I do a a video about the thumbnails on Pits Art too. A whole different video. That's basically what it is. Next is Daily Horoscope, which is telling you like your birthday, your horoscope, and then it's giving you information about what's on here, like it says right here. Gives you information of the day of your horoscope. Each day is a different this is description of your horoscope. Next is Snack -a Job, which is just like Indeed, but I don't prefer you to get Snack -a Job because, like, I don't think you want to get a job quick on there. When you apply for a job, you ain't going to get it as quick as you get it on Indeed. Indeed, you apply for it in, like, less than three weeks. You already got a freaking job, job interview, like, that quick. Next is Zelle, which is my use for my bank accounts, which you send money over and over. So it's just like Cash App, you sending money back and forth, or you receiving money back and forth from another person. Next folder is the white folder, the clouds. I have reminders, which is self-explanatory, calendar, Apple Music, health, home, news. Pandora, which is the music app that I use. How Zap Service. I haven't been using this app, but it's basically an app where you can do service and you get money. Do service and you earn money. That's basically what it is. Y'all like, first of all, y'all like, why she have her nails done on this right here with her nails done? Like, and because I was doing my nails the other day and I didn't do this hand. I, I did my own nails. But I didn't do this hand. That's why I got it right there. Next is Dub Smash, which is a dancing app, and you see people dance on there, and you make Dub Smashes, which is viral because everybody dancing these days, so y'all should know what that is. Next is Darkiness, which is, I use that to store my files and stuff in that, other than the actual file thing that came with the phone, that file that came with the phone. Next is Prequel, which is that little digital fat. A lot of y'all be asking, oh, what is pre? how you get that fat on your photo, this and that. Y'all be asking it about... Where is that? About this. Like this. How it's a digital effect and like a glitch. That's basically what that app do. It does that. Well, it does other filters, but a lot of us use that app for that little digital effect on the photo. Next is Into Live, which is a lock screen, like a live lock screen app that like it's basically you turn your photos or turn your videos into a live video that you put on a lock screen and you like move animated your lock screen. That's what it is. Next is Funimate, which is putting just like kind of low motor but different, got more effects, which is you putting photos together in videos and making a cute, good video, which is a highly recommend you get that. You want your videos to go cute. Next is Facetune. I don't use it at, at all, no more. It's basically editing it out. I might use it, but I haven't used it in a while. Just do. Some people say it's good for making thumbnails, but I haven't used it for that. Next is I got YouTube Tracker, which track how many like you how many subscribers and how many watch time and comments and stuff. Next YouTube Studio, which is the same. It does the same thing. Not going to show y'all that. Next is Gmail, 
which got four, but you like how I got four, but you got eight dollars something. I don't know what's going on. I think because in this out right here, I'm like the son me and my boyfriend shared Gmail. That's why I got four on right there. Next is AdSense, which is how you get paid from YouTube when you hit 1,000 subscribers and a whole lot of watch time. That's how you get paid for you, so you want to get started, get paid right there. But it takes time, so if you're, new, if you're a new YouTuber, then I advise you to get that out in YouTube Tracker and YouTube Studio. Next is Shipped. I think that's how, it's, that's how you say it. Let's take a grocery out where you ship groceries to your house. Pay for it and then it gets shipped to your house. Next is Lush. If you don't know this place, it's basically a place in International Mall. Like, I don't know. Some of y'all live in Tampa. Some live. But they have one down in Tampa and they have one down somewhere else. Basically, it's a bath bomb place where you like get bath bombs, create a bath bombs like a unicorn bath bomb, bath bomb and stuff, skincare products, hair products. I recommend you to. Get this app or go to the website Lush and like buy you some stuff because this is a good place. Next is Kicks on Fire, which is a shoe. A shoe out, which it tells you all the new upcoming shoes that's coming out. This and that. It shows you a lot. Like me, you just if you love sneakers, if you love sneak shoes, any type of shoe, or just sneakers. If you love your shoes, like you love your Jordans, you love your white Nike Air Force, you love that, why did you get them apps? Because I know y'all be stacking up on shoes. Next folder is the gray folder, which wallet, camera, settings, cal calculator, which is all substantial contacts. Mega photo is an app where, you know, it's just like what I was telling y'all about how to cute going around with your photo and your video. You can do that on Mega Photo too. You just make your videos different effects next is the black folder which you got clocks stocks self-explanatory you got sprinkle of jesus which is a motivational app which you use for like it motivates you to see things daily scriptures and stuff like that next is motivation which is a motivation app obviously it sends you look notifications and little quotes and stuff each day or whenever you schedule to get it sent to you. Next is voice memos, watch compass, measure, Apple TV, and BIU. I don't use this at all, which is used to be the N-O-I-Z-Z-I. -Z -Z -I. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I don't use the app at all, but it's actually a video app to add effects to your photos. Next is split pick, which you split in your pick. Like you have a photo just like um Picklay, you overlaying your photos. That's just what it is. Next is Triller, which y'all should know what that is. You making videos, a video of yourself with your favorite song. Then you got Blur Photo, which you if I want to blur the background of me, you just blur anything. That's what Blur Photo is like if I want to blur the background. Next is Cute Cut. It's just like iMovie, but I recommend y'all to get iMovie than Cute Cut. I mean, it's just the same, but iMovie is more straightforward and more easy than Cute Cut because Cute Cut is very hard to edit with. Like. Next is Sheen, which is a shopping app. Shop for clothes. I have a Black Friday sale right now, so if y'all like clothes and stuff like Cute designer or cute professional clothes, I'll buy y'all this app. They have a Black Friday sale. Next is Polar. Polar. We'll stop. Polar is an app that you like, you know, when you take a picture on your phone and then like on your regular camera, and then it flips your, your freaking photo. Like that makes me so mad. You taking the picture, it looks so cute. So you just like. And all of a sudden you take the picture and your, your face is the other way than how you took the picture. And that just made me so mad. Like. I use this app to flip my picture the right way as it should be. Then it should be flipped this way. Like, it don't make no sense why the freaking camera does that. Next folder is the rainbow folder, which I got maps. So I got photos, 
self-explanatory. I got Google Photos, which I take all my photos out of my regular photos when I don't have no space and put it in, back it up into Google Photos and delete it out of my regular photos. Next is the Holy Bible, which is a Bible app where you get sent daily notifications where you read the Bible. Next is Kit Collage, where you put all your pictures in a whole frame. That's what it is. Next, you got Tasty, which is a food app that shows you different recipes to, like, how to cook this, how to cook that. I love watching food videos because I love food, so keep that out. Make easy recipes and stuff. Next is Fabulous, which is a, I don't know what this app is. It's like a little motivating app. It reminds you to drink water, gives you stuff to do in the morning, gives you, Lauren, it's like a motivational app when you wake up in the morning, it tells you how to start your day off. Next folder is the red folder, which is Ally Express. If you don't like Ally Express, I recommend you get it right now. Because it's the thing that you like get cheap. It's just like the Wish app. You get cheap stuff off of here, like phone cases. Off of here, that's basically what you get, like cute stuff for cheap. Thing like them. Sports pants and that purse and these bottles you get stuff like ring light you get stuff for cheap rather than buying a whole price in the store because like that costs so much next you got funto which is something you was well, something i edit my thumbnails off of and use that's what i made to use for my own channel my banner and stuff but i'll show y'all example what i did with funto what i used with funto I use I made Fonto with this and I made Fonto with look, with this thing. I don't think I got it. Cause I don't wanna go through all my photos. Basically you making anything you want. Basically it's just an editing out. Next, we got DMV, which you're studying for your driver's test on here. Wells Fargo, which is my bank. YouTube, which is, that's what you're looking at me off of, honey. You're looking at me off of YouTube, okay? <laughs> but still, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Next, Pinterest. If you don't like Pinterest and you be like, you want to say people that be like asking you, what nail design should I get or what type of clothing you think go with this and that or what this and what that. I advise you to get Pinterest because it gives you so many ideas of everything. I love Pinterest. Like, Pinterest is that out right there. Like, you get all types of ideas of stuff. And how to win tips about stuff. Pinterest is good. Huh? Next, you got Netflix. You got Thumbnail Maker, which I don't use to make my thumbnails. I don't even know why I still got this out. But it's okay how to, like, position your thumbnails the right way. Next, you got Chick-fil-A out. I love Chick-fil-A. You got My Love out, which is to show you about how long you be in a relationship with your lover. Next, you got subscriber counts. I don't know if it's on. Yes, on. Have you left subscribers? Make sure you go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Next is shortcuts. Come with the phone. I have it's really like shortcuts to apps and websites. Next, if you're a girl, I recommend you get female meter and flow. It's very like a cycle out for a cycle. It tracks and it helps. Next, we got African Mall. Can I? I love African Mall. Like, I just brought an outfit from off African Mall. And it came so quick. I thought it was going to take so long. It actually came so quick. And you buy different clothes off there. I recommend y'all to get African Mall. Like, it's a good app. You buy 
hair off of here. Human hair. Frontals, closures. Oh, all that off of there. Next is games. I got Call of Duty, Injustice 2, a car driving school game, Magic Tiles 3, and then regular Magic Tiles. Next, I have this folder, which is another thumbnail maker that I don't use. I have VSCO Visco, which is a cute light editing out filter. Put a cute filter on your photo and make a, your photo look cute. Next is Villo, I think that's what it's called. It's I think it's a actually good app to use, like for like editing. You have a YouTube video and you want to edit and put this and that in, into it. I think it's a very much a good app to use. I recommend y'all get that. Next I have Transit, which is a bus out. I have Cooking Fever, Cooking Madness, and Bus Stimulator. I like some little driving games, the bus simulator and stuff, and the car driving game, and the car driving school. I actually like those games, actually, and the cooking games they actually excite me for some reason. I have Fashion Nova, which is self explanatory. Buying clothes off of here. Cute clothes as that. But I think Fashion Nova takes so long. I heard it takes so long to get clothes, like... If you want, like, you have a specific clothing you want, and, like, you don't go to Fashion Nova first. Go to part of, like, African Mall or something. You need that outfit, like, urgently. Next, I have the Text Me app. How Shazam, which is an app where you find a song. Hold up, let me turn off this alarm clock. So it's about to go off. Out where you find songs like a person want to show tell you the song you just go on it and you click the thing and like you listen to it with the phone listen to the song with the phone it finds your song you just like you didn't have to tell you what song it was got it already do you got kind master which this app is a get out for thumbnails well not really thumbnails yeah it's a good app for thumbnails too it's good out for editing videos. It's good out for a lot of things. I recommend y'all get that. Oh, the screen recorder went off. So, Con Master is a good app. And down here, I have phone. I have the Safari. I have my messages and my FaceTime. And that's basically all the apps on my phone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Give me feedback. Make sure you go connect with all my social medias in the description box. And if you want to see the particular video, make sure you text me, DM me off of one of my social medias. And I'll get back with you. And make sure you get this video to like. Let me see, I'm looking forward to 100 views and 100 likes and I'll post another like big, 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 big surprise video about stuff like editing and stuff. So, i see you all in the next video. Bye.